Oh, welcome to the regular edition of the Educational Rounds here at uh, Seclair. My name is Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist, and today I'm joined by my colleagues on my left. Amy. Oh, my name is Amy. I'm a PA student. From? St. Francis. Oh, wonderful. And you and me? I'm Sierra. I'm a PA student from Chatham. Okay. Well, well as we say, everyone has to be uh, from somewhere, and everyone has to be someplace. So here we are in this right now. So the... The theme of, uh, theme of today, is, today is, of course, you all know that. What, what, uh, what day is it? Monday. Monday, Monday the 8th. Eight. Monday, 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 December the 8th. And, and I'll, I'll announce it now to say, let, let the stress begin. begin. Let the stress be begin. And today and we're going to deal with you. We're going to talk about holiday stress. stress However, we're, 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 we're just talking about it. About it. We're going to offer some suggestions and ways that useful things in your life that you can actually benefit, benefit, benefit from. from. So, Amy, so tell, tell me one thing that a couple of things that cause you some anxiety during the holidays that perhaps are exasperated at this time of year. Well, first of all, you know, worry about worry. getting presents getting. for all your family members and everything, you know. It's stressful to go out shopping and get everything, get everything done. What's what stress what's stress you about shopping? Um it's it's yeah. very chaotic out of like a time here and here busy and, and you know there's, you know, there's Everybody's worried about getting their bucket and presents and, 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 and you know, it's a lot busier time your time and time and time and uh, could you tell me about telling, telling me about something about, about, about the holiday the season, season that gives you some peace and joy and maybe some happy memories? Something, something about the holiday that you look forward to? Um, I think, I, of course, family that comes in and um, certain traditions that we have. It's always something that, you know, gives me joy. Okay, wonderful. Well, Miss well, Sierra, tell me some tell things, me some things about, about, about the holiday season that you use stress and anxiety, anxiety that, that perhaps aren't uh, or elevated during this type of time of year. I feel like Amy took all the good ones at times. I can see traffic in crowds. What about yeah. traffic? I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me about crowds. I don't like that. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like my bubble. My bubble invaded. And people, and people. I swear, I get, swear I get rude. rude. Become rude. Rude, rude. rude tendencies tend to come out on the holiday. Mm-hmm. There's no pleasing mm-hmm. things in there. Well, not a fan well, of well, sure, well, sure, sure. And, sure. Also, and also, also, one of the big, one of the big stressors for people. Tell me about that. Well, I'm a well, PhD student, so, so without, without a job, a job <laughs> you know, the government is funding my Christmas this year. But it's tough because. I think at this time of the year, nobody thinks they have enough money, you know, and it's always, well, I just need to get one more gift for this person or one more gift for that person. It's tough to keep up. Mm-hmm. Well, and what we, what we are is we're at the mercy and we're being manipulated constantly by images, sights, sounds, information that doesn't, doesn't your, your special person deserve such a special gift. <laughs> Doesn't doesn't your person deserve this? Uh, Every kid begins with cash. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure, well, sure. And we're bombarded with those type of images, uh, urging us to perhaps spend beyond spend beyond our oh, yeah. spend beyond our needs. Absolutely. Okay. And that you really need to express to a person how much you care about them by how much the gift costs. Mhm. Yeah. There's a quote from The Office. Do you watch The Office? Michael Scott. So he says, Christmas is all about spending money. He says, I love you this many dollars worth. And I think it's very true. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you mentioned earlier, uh, Sierra, about perhaps people uh, losing a bit of uh, civility. Oh, yeah. So Think about Black Friday, all the people that get trampled. I was dealing with uh, an individual recently where they had gone out on Black Friday. to a particular store, they were waiting in line. Uh, the registers weren't going to open for a few hours, and the hour and a half that this person was there, eight people were taken out in handcuffs by the police wow. because of uh, fist fights on being in line. However, <laughs> however, uh, one of the main things that causes anxiety during the holiday season, and for anxiety for most people, is time, and it's it's our mismanagement of time. That causes us so much, so much trouble. Amy, how much? How many uh, times recently during the past uh, few days, week, have you said I don't have enough time? Um, I don't have enough time. Yeah, 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 I don't have enough time
Oh, probably like 20 times a day. <laughs> There's no time. How about you, Sierra? Absolutely. Well, sure. A couple of times every hour. And perhaps, as, as we mentioned maybe on a previous uh, podcast, of all the substances on Earth that we have used, time is perhaps the one that we abuse the most. Uh, we, we believe that we don't have enough time. Are you a list maker? Do you have a lot of things racing mm-hmm. thoughts going through your head, Amy? Yes. How about you, Sierra? I make a list for my list. <laughs> you make a list to make a list? Yeah. Okay, well, the idea is, and again, it's a clear, our practice is a mindfulness-based practice where we attempt to be present and aware and being able to describe our current experience without time traveling into the past or into the future about the future. When we try to travel into the future, all we're dealing with is anxiety and fear. When we're in the past, all we're dealing with is uh, is resentment, self-pity, anger, and frustration. Uh, so the idea is how do we how do we remain in this present moment? Well, uh, what we did, we prepared a little bit of an activity, and I don't know whether everybody will be able to see this, but it's a relatively simple thing to do. If you take a uh, take a piece of paper, draw a line down the middle, and on the top and the left hand side, what you would like to do is write down the things, the activities that you need to do. I need to address Christmas cards. I need to buy Mr. X this. I need to buy Miss Y that. I need to bake. I need to plan for a party. I need to uh, plan an agenda on where we're going to go. I need to clean my car. Whatever, make my bed. It could be things as simple as, as simple as that. So, and these are the type of things that sometimes we make some list, and the list becomes so long that we end up we end up being overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. Ever feeling overwhelmed with everything you believe you have to have done? Yeah, everything I believe Chatham wants me to have done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How about you? I mean, did you, you ever feel overwhelmed by the amount of things you believe that you mm-hmm. need to be done? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So when when we have this list. And then on the opposite side, what we want to put is the amount of time, realistically, that it's going to take to perform that task. Let's say sending out Christmas cards. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you have if you have 20 Christmas cards that you need to send out, uh, how long realistically would it take to address, sign them, and send them, and then mail them? Working diligently, probably not long. Okay. How long do you think? An hour, maybe. How many cards? Do you say? Twenty. Yeah, like maybe an hour. Do we have to leak the envelopes as well? Because I would count for you that. Can buy, you can buy the self sealing okay. envelopes. You can save yourself that time. <laughs> so, what we want to do is list, list that time. Okay? And what we try to do is realistically work on one thing mindfully at a time. Mm-hmm. Uh, multitasking is just another word for anxiety and burnout. So, we, we list that, so that's going to take one hour. Uh, what we want to do then is make a list of each day and go through, let's say Monday, and we go through that day and we make blocks of time and things that are we're required to do. Uh, I sleep for X number of hours. Uh, I eat breakfast. I go to school. I do this. Um, and I think that when we go through the seven days, no matter how busy you are, I think that you'll find that you have unaccounted blocks of time that really we, we don't have much to do. So what we would like to do, take that hour for the Christmas cards and plug it in to a certain day. And, and technology, technology is one of the areas where technology, technology, can, technology can be, can be uh, to your advantage, where, where you can, can make these make lists, these on, lists your on your phone, you can put on them on a calendar on your phone, and, and, and the idea is to do, to do the one thing mindfully, one thing mindfully at a time. Do you think you could do something like that? Amy? I think so. Okay. What do you do? What do you do when you're stressed? Yeah. So you're, tell, tell us. Tell us. What happens when you're stressed? What happens when you have a lot of anxiety? I make lists. You make lists? <laughs> yeah. Do you ever do I don't it? always follow them. Do you ever get anything done on the list? Sometimes. Okay. It depends. Okay. But what happens when you get full of stress and anxiety? I feel like it's all I think about. I just keep thinking about all the stuff yeah. that I need to do and then Or I do like, nothing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 
you're thinking about anything about that might be able to accomplish. Sure, sure. And here it's a clear we do not have to advocate blocking techniques while we suggest this to dance and swim and be flexible, flexible, flexible stops. And it's very difficult to stop the thought of thought when you're having these crazy thoughts. I don't know if you're fast or fast enough to answer. How fast, how fast they are. So, so it's through it's action and action and through behavioral change. change. And, and writing these writing things, down things down is a concrete, is a concrete step. step. What we do is we, is we take it out of our head, of our head and put it out and put it into the world, into, into reality, reality, and, and make, it, make it concrete and make it real. 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 Makes you more accountable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's satisfying yeah. passing yeah. things off your list. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, think so. I think so. Well, sure. And what we try, try to do is build on small, small, small mm -hmm. success. Yeah. 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 If when you think, oh my gosh, I have so many Christmas presents to buy, I have so many people to see. Uh, that's uh, another that's one. Is, is it not? not could we could we break, we break that down, down into to I have, have I need I to, need to purchase, purchase a present for, for my, for my mother, mother. mother. Okay. okay. I need to purchase a present for my mother. That's the one. That's the one. I a lot of time. That's where you that's write my last mom. mom. And, and the amount of time realistically that you're going to spend on that. So the idea so is, is to take these thoughts, thoughts take, take the anxiety, take the worry out of your head, and place it out into reality. Put it into some type of a, a realistic, realistic frame. Mm -hmm. Realistic frame. So where do you feel stress at in your body, Sierra? Where does it, where does it, where does it approach you? My stomach. Your stomach. And my shoulder blades. I get really tense in between my shoulder blades. Okay. And you, Amy? I was gonna say like my shoulders and everything too. I, I, yeah, I you just feel like you them. can't stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every once in a while you have to be. Yeah. Okay. And I'm sure that everyone out in the audience has different places where mm -hmm. more stress, more stress affects them. Uh, so when this activity that we gave you today, and another fine aspect of technology is to during this particular type of year, perhaps every day, is to is to set your a time on your phone for various times throughout the day and give yourself a self-evaluation. Mm. Give yourself a give yourself a body scan. Where am I? What am I doing? How important how important is this? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I mean, we have to ask ourselves, how important am I? Mm. How important am I? So we hope that helped you out just a little bit and I'll give you our prescription that we have every day, and perhaps for this during this season, it may be much beneficial. Please unplug the television. Please unplug it. The news, you can listen to it if you care to. I do not recommend it. Uh, fruits, nuts, and vegetables, uh, and perhaps take up fishing. Perhaps. And for again, for a very mindful experience. Please fish without bait, and your assignment for this next week would be please be good to yourself. Please be good to yourself. And we're going to, and until next time, you can reach us at www.clara.com. Go under the blogs. You can find all of our uh, podcasts on YouTube and Screecher and, and iHeartRadio. So until next time, we'll be here. We hope you will remain awesome.